friends and welcome to power bi zone today we are going to discuss about the running total for non dead values if you have watched my previous videos over here i have tried to explain the running total for dead values and today we will see how to calculate the running total based on non dead values what do you mean by non dead values you do not have any date in your visual you only have let's say over here i have taken country name so you have having country name and you are having sales amount now there are two different options um, using which you can calculate the running total one when the visual will be sorted by the country name itself right so over here the first value will always be australia the second value is always be canada right and then what you need to do you cal you need to calculate the running total so it will calculate this the first value 90 plus the second value 19 and it will sum it up and give you in the second row so and similarly it will sum the first three values and give you in the third row that's how the running total will be calculated in option one option two can be your sorting is not based on country but it is based on sales you see the maximum sales is of united states so if i sort this based on united states the sorting the maximum sales united states will be the country which has had the maximum number of sales followed by australia so in that case option two what can be done is you, you may be required to calculate the running total based on this particular uh, you know sorting of the sales amount and the second row will fetch 93 plus 90 the third row will fetch 93 plus 90 plus 33 whatever the values are for the third so we are going to see how we can calculate uh, the running total based on both option one and option so option two so first let us of uh, first of all let us go to the option one and we will try to simply create a measure by the way we are using adventure works over here and we have imported the tables gym dim geography and fact internet sales okay and we will go ahead and now try to create the measure we will call this measure as running total for country and we will say calculate and give me the sum of sales okay okay now we need to find out a logic based on which we need to calculate this uh, running total okay so first of all we will just say that your english country region name is less than equal to max of english country region name why are we telling this so it is a non-numeric value right and since it is already sorted where i am always having australia at the top and united states at the bottom what will happen is if you use this max of english country region name column for each and every row you will get that value as max so if i say about the fourth row you will always get max of country name is germany if you go to the fifth row you will get united kingdom as the max value so what it will do it will in the case of germany if i say it will go to the previous uh, country region name it will it will go to australia canada france and germany and filter out the sales value for these four countries and give you the result in the fourth row thereby doing a running total uh, one important thing over here you can also include a filter okay and you can to be double sure you can remove any filters which are applied to your english country region name column right in case anything is applied you can remove that so this is a better way and this is going to be the main logic as i already explained and you can just close the filter and then close your okay instead of uh, english country region name by mistake i had taken french country region name now it is corrected okay so this is going to be the running total for country let me go ahead and pull this running total for country in my visual great is it working so 90 this particular value plus 19 right it will come to 110 again the top three values 90 plus 19 plus 26 it will come to 136 then 165 so you see the values are increasing and the last value is equal to the grand total so that means this is working perfectly fine 
So I hope you are able to understand the option one. Now let us go ahead and try to replicate this tab and do it for option two. Call it as option two. Okay, over here I'll just go ahead and remove the running total for country and as I told you the option two, the sorting will be based on sales amount, right? Because I need these values, the first value plus uh, the running total will be based on the sales amount. Over here, I need some other way so that I can go ahead and do my, apply my logic and for that we'll be applying something known as a rank. Now, we'll go ahead and create rank okay and we will say rank x right so for the first expression that rank x takes is a table but in, uh, very importantly we have to make sure that no filters are applied in this table so what we will do we'll apply as all and we will say give me the english country region name so we have to remove all the filters from english country region name Secondly, the second value is an expression. So over here, we will simply see, give me the sum of sales. This is going to be my expression. I need the ranking based on sum of sales. That is what it is telling. Value, we can leave it empty as of now. Now comes the ascending or descending. So I want to give the rank one to the max amount of sales, which is why I'll give descending over here. Now I will go ahead and say, uh ties so it is going to be dense rank okay and i can just go ahead and type in enter right so i've created my rank let me pull my rank in the visual it clearly gives the first rank to the highest number of sales which is united states second rank to australia and so on now i have got a basis based on which i can do the uh, magic the logic mainly so i'll go ahead and create the new measure We create a measure called RT for sales amount. Okay. Let me increase the font a bit. And we create another uh, variable called current rank. Uh, we would again be creating the same thing as we did for rank. That is, go ahead and copy paste whatever was there in my rank. So I will go to my rank measure okay this is my rank measure i'll just copy the same thing come to my rt for sales and i will paste okay now i'll create another variable called result and in this result i will calculate the sum of sales measure okay I will give a filter this filter first of all I'll remove anything which is affecting my column which is English country region name it will remove all the filters affecting this next over here comes the tricky part right I will again write the same rank now what was happening in case of date remember date less than equal to max of date so it will taking for each and every row it was taking all the dates prior to that current row less than equal to max of that row so similarly based on that logic we will say rank x and similarly we will give the table name which is all and english country region name this is the first uh, argument for the rank followed by the expression so we are going to give the rank based on sum of sales so sum of sales the value is going to be empty and order is going to be descending and again tiles is going to be dense right it will again calculate the same thing that is ultimately you will get one two three four five six but over here an interesting thing is we have to give the condition less than equal to so it will work for each and every row so as i am giving you the example of the fourth row over here what will happen 
left hand side the rank x is going to calculate 1 2 3 4 5 6 right less than equal to the current rank so for the fourth row the current rank is 4 so what you will give you will give the current rank right this is the main logic that needs to be applied we will end the filter and we will end calculate okay at last what we'll do you will return your result right let's see how this works so now i'm going to pull the rt for sales amount and voila it works fine right so what you're getting you're getting the first row as 93 the second row is 93 plus 90 what is 184 then 184 plus 33 which is 218 so this particular fourth row is the summation of all these four previous values which is what is expected and the last row is obviously going to be the grand total right so I hope you're pretty much clear with the video. Guys, if you're liking my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give comments so that I can go ahead and improve my videos. And see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.